So now what I need to do is I need to fire up the eBook Edit Pro software. Now I have a link right underneath this video. So see where my cursor is circling right now? Just go down a few inches and you'll see the link. You know, click here to go check out the software. Now the software cost a few dollars because you know it's good software and if you're going to be selling ebooks for you know fifty a hundred two hundred dollars it's okay if you spend a few dollars on a piece of software so you really need this software there's other softwares out there that cost more money and I've used several and you may want to check out several too but if you're looking for kind of the best one that I've found then and you only want to buy one then go ahead and use this software so in here we can put the title for the ebook. I'll call this ebook nine and about box test text I can say www.internetprofitmentor.com. I'm not going to populate all these little fields. Uh, this stuff you can just put your own things in there. So ebook title, the about box text. Then when I go to this file tab, here's the important thing. It says select the HTML directory to compile. Well, that's this folder, this little ebook folder, the directory that has, it's got these files in there. So that's the one I want. So when I open up my software, I click on this little folder icon, and I have to go down and I need to select it. So on my desktop, I have this ebook project and then that ebook folder. So select that little subfolder and hit OK. And now you're done on this step now we go to page order now there's only one page in th this example so I hit add I need to add it to the page order and then down here starting page that's the page when the ebook opens it's gonna go right to that page so if you only have one page it's really simple but if you had like 20 pages in here they'd all be over here and then you have to add them to the page order and that's just uh, when you set up the toolbar if someone wants to hit next uh, the ebook will know which page to go to next an ebook is basically just a little web browser that's uh, unique for your thing. It can't search the entire web uh, unless it's clicked on a hyperlink, but it's just a little web browser is all it is. So we go to book bookmarks. I'm just going to skip this screen. You can read about that and see what that's all about. Now we have these toolbars. So the back and the next button, when they're in the ebook, they can go backwards or forward, reload or refresh. This one takes them to the home page. Stop means if they clicked on the link and they don't want to go there, it can stop. Font size, I'll disable that, but if you do some clean hand coding, the person can actually change the font size. Print, I always disable print, and here you'll see visible, so if I uncheck it, it's not going to be printable. If you want your ebook to be printable, I would suggest making a PDF. So right here, I'd take that away. Bookmarks, uh, that's up to you if you want to include some bookmarks. The search feature, that's pretty good to have. Register, I always disable that. About, I'm not even sure what that does, so no, I, I do know what it does, but about, I just disable that. And exit, exit is how they get out of the book. So we go to toolbar, and here, if, if you want to be an affiliate for ebook edit pro, you can have this displayed, but I don't want that displayed, so I just get rid of the ebook edit pro stuff. And here colors the background this is for the toolbar so if you want to make the toolbar have a certain background I could give it a blue background to match the background of my ebook but then you can't see this font so I'm gonna go and select white font for the toolbar so now it's gonna be white font on a blue background and for security this is really why I want this now I'm gonna go ahead and create an ebook with no security you can add a password and here you'll type the password you need when you do that, make sure you check off the pages to protect. And if you only have one page, make sure this is checked off here. So this password, if you select password, it's going to be one password. I could type it in here. Suppose my password was IPM success. If that was my password, everyone who entered that password could get in. Now, that would be kind of pointless because you can create a PDF with a password. So I don't like that feature and I won't use that feature. If you like it, go ahead and use it, but I would suggest creating a password protected PDF. So username plus serial, you create a secret key and you can take a username and limit access per user, but they'll still be able to view it on multiple computers. So one user could still give it out to all of his friends uh, if he knew the, the username and serial combination. 
Now this 10 digit unique computer code, this is why this software is worth the money right here. 10 digit unique computer code. So let's say my secret key was secret key. You can make this anything you want. Okay, so let me run the key maker just to show you how this works. So the secret key, I'm calling it secret key, so I need to type in secret key for this. Now when someone goes to open the ebook on their computer, they're going to see something like this 10 digit number. They're going to have to email you that number, which comes from the hard drive of their computer. You're going to get that number from them. You're going to paste it in here. You're going to go and paste. And then you combine it with the secret key. Click here. It generates a password. This thing is what they need to view it on their computer. Without this thing, they can't access the ebook, period. And this software works really great. So the nice thing about it is only they can access it, and they can only access it on the computer where the 10 digit number was derived from. So every computer is going to spit out a different 10 digit number, and it has something to do with the hard drive and the operating system. So if they get a new computer, they're going to get need a new 10 digit code. The secret key always stays the same, but the secret key is what allows you to combine it with the 10 digit code and then generates the password below. So then they have to email you. They email you the 10 digit number, you stick it in the key with your secret key, you generate the password, you send this password back to them by email and they can unlock their software and it's good on they only have to do it once and it's unlocked on their computer. So that's why that software is worth the money. But just for this example, I'm not going to go ahead and create it. Trust me, it works. Uh, when you go to the website for the eBook Edit Pro software, they have some FAQs, and you can submit support tickets to them if you have any questions about how that works. So the final step is to go to Compile, Save eBook As. Let me select where I want to save it. And I'm going to go down and save it in the same spot where the eBook is. So eBook Project. I'm going to save it in that folder, and I'm just going to save the eBook as eBook. 99 okay so if I hit compile it makes a nice ebook for me and it told me that it's a 563 kilobyte ebook go back in my folder there it's saved I can open it up we've just created an ebook now the security features aren't active in the one I just created but you can set that up yourself it's really easy and here's a version of the ebook now if you notice let me go down and try to highlight some text. I can highlight it, but it won't let me it won't let me cut or paste. So it's okay that I can highlight it just for my own self, but I'm trying to, to paste it and cut right now. I'm trying to copy. It won't let me do it. So if I hit exit, I'm out of there. There you go. You've just created your own ebook and that has the capability of adding your own security. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create an ebook cover, and that's also very easy using a simple software. So, if you're interested in obtaining the ebook creation, ebook edit pro software, look at where my cursor is and just go down a little bit. The link will be right underneath this video for you to go check it out, and I'll also add it to the resource section. So, enjoy and uh, go create a nice ebook for yourself.